In this video, we're going to take a quick look at a low-cost softbox alternative. The question, can you get the beautiful look of soft lighting using just a $3 shower curtain liner? Or should you spend a few dollars more for a proper piece of photographic diffusion material? All right, now what if you could get the pleasing light of a softbox and get that flexible contrast control uh, and you don't have to worry about attachment adapters or anything like that and and you know a really simple setup and breakdown what if you could do all that well you can using what some people call a scrim or a diffusion panel now i just ordered what's marketed as a diffusion silk from amazon uh, under the newer brand uh, this one is five by 12 feet and uh, i gotta say i'm pretty impressed with the quality i paid about 20 bucks for this one. Now, as an alternative, I decided to try using a different type of material. Now I paid $3 for this shower curtain liner made of something called lightweight Piva. All right. Now that is a type of vinyl that is apparently better for your personal environment or your health or something better than, uh, the alternative type of vinyl that they used to use. Uh, I believe that's PVC. So uh, if, you, if you're going to get one, I guess get this kind, the PEVA, the PIVA. Uh, this one measures about 70 inches square. Now let's compare the two types of materials to see how they perform as softbox alternatives. Now I'm going to use my mannequin uh, to try to keep everything as consistent as possible between these shots. All right, let's first take a look at what you get with a just direct flash for this setup that I'm going to be using. Just direct flash, no modifier. And you can see it's pretty harsh lighting. Uh, the mannequin has flawless skin here, okay? But not a regular, real human being uh, is not going to have flawless skin. And this kind of lighting is maybe not so flattering for most people. All right, now let's see what type of lighting we get with an actual softbox. This is my 36-inch uh, glow easy lock octabox you've seen me use it in other videos i've got it about two feet away from my subject camera settings are iso 100 f4 1 250th of a second and those are going to remain pretty constant throughout all of these examples that i'm going to show you we're using a godox tt685 at 1 16th power uh, incidentally i've got the flash zoom set to 24 millimeter for all of the following examples now you can use whatever flash zoom you want i it just happened to be on 24 millimeter which is you know fairly wide dispersion but uh, as long as you're not using something super narrow like 70 80 or above you're going to get pretty much the same results here also keep in mind that i bumped up the exposure about two-thirds of a stop in lightroom for all of the examples I'm showing you. So that's a consistent change. Um, now I felt that I kind of underexposed all the shots by just a little bit. Uh, it's no big deal, but I wanted them all just a little bit brighter for uh, the screen here for this demonstration. Okay, now uh, we might think of this as our baseline. Okay, this is this what you're seeing here is a standard softbox look. And we're going to compare. Um, the rest of our images to this. All right, now here we're using a 40 inch shoot through umbrella, still at about two feet from our subject. And as I'd expect, we've got a little more contrast here, even with the wider surface area of the modifier. And uh, you might ask, well, why is that? All right, now remember that only a portion of the umbrella's surface area is directly facing the subject. It really starts bending out away from the subject as you move away from the center of the uh, umbrella. The next thing I did was set up the newer diffusion panel. If you're, use, if you're shooting indoors, uh, using something like this uh, can be pretty easy. Uh, all you gotta do is just hang it up over a backdrop stand. Now, in this case, I'm using a couple of compact light stands and one of my mini boom arms as a crossbar. You've seen me use this mini boom arm in different, you know, for different applications. Um, and I'm clamping the material with a couple of A clamps, uh, just real quick and dirty, just hanging up this diffusion material. If, you, if you're gonna shoot outdoors, you'll probably want to attach diffusion material to some type of frame. And this can be true indoors too, if you want to set up the panel at some 
some kind of angle. But for this demo, just hanging it here works fine and, it, and it'll work fine for a lot of portraiture that you want to do. All right, here is what we get with that newer diffusion material. The flash is at 1 16th power and it's positioned about two feet from the panel on the backside. Our subject is about two feet from the other side of the panel. I think this looks pretty good. Now, if we move our light back to four feet away from the back side of the panel, we get an even softer look. And that's because the light is able to spread out a bit more before it even hits that back side of the panel. For this shot, I've increased the flash's power to one eighth power. Okay, now what about the $3 shower curtain liner? For these shots, I've replaced the $20 diffusion material with the white shower curtain liner that we purchased. All right now, here's a result with the light two feet away from the panel. Uh, it's, this is the identical setup and settings that we did with, you know, for our previous uh, test shots with the standard diffusion material. Now here's the shower curtain liner with the flash four feet from the panel. And just so that you can see these side by side, here's the diffusion material and shower curtain uh, tests side by side for comparison. All right, so you can decide for yourself if the shower curtain liner material for $3 is a good alternative to the higher priced diffusion material uh, if you don't have a softbox on hand. Personally, I would stick with the standard photo diffusion material for you know most professional applications, but it's nice to know that there are other low cost options out there. Okay guys, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, you know what to do. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell notification icon. Leave me a comment, click that like button. That's all I got for you today. I'll see you next time.